this edition of Joyful Trails, I'm going to take you to a wonderful little trail that you probably haven't been to and may have never heard of. But first... What was that all about? I can almost hear you asking. Well, today on Joyful Trails, I have found a trail that goes past some gorgeous farmland, just on the outskirts of an Eastern Tennessee college town. So get on your bike, or maybe your tractor, and let's go down to the farm, y'all. This is Tusculum, Tennessee, site of Tusculum University, the oldest university in the state. Tusculum boasts a population of 3,298, covers just under five square miles, and their motto is, first in education. Now, Tusculum is a real town because I found a city hall and the police department and a fire station, but the truth is there's just not much here outside of the private Presbyterian University. I rode around a good while and all I could find was a lingerie shop, an ice cream bar, and a place to play miniature golf. So if you enjoy soft serve ice cream while playing putt-putt in a baby doll negligee, then Tusculum has you covered, so to speak. And that's the first time I've used the word negligee since, well, since I can remember. Tusculum is basically a suburb of Greenville, Tennessee. You have to go to Greenville to, like, eat out and buy stuff. But yeah, there's not much inside the Tusculum city limits except some residential neighborhoods and the university. And speaking of the university, John Harvey Gerdner is a noted graduate of Tusculum. Who is he, you ask? Why, he became a prominent New York surgeon who attended to President James Garfield after Garfield was shot in 1881. Educator and Presbyterian minister Samuel Doak is highly honored in Tusculum. The Doak House is a nonprofit educational museum that you can tour when you're not busy riding bike trails. And just to prove it's an important historical building, there's this plaque on the side of the house. But enough about Doak and Gardner and negligees. We've got a <laughs> We've got a trail to ride. It's the Tusculum Linear Park Walking and Biking Trail, which is way too long of a name. Tusculum, I'm gonna need you to get a catch of your name. Shorten that one somehow. But in the meantime, let's go. We were catching the light from the window Looking up, you were driving slow I can see through it all with my eyes closed We were never meant to be alone There was a part of me that couldn't let, couldn't let go Needed remembering when not on my own Ooh, I'll go where you go Knocks on my window Ooh, Let's keep it simple I'll go where you go Let a fire deep inside my mirror I'm filling up rooms in your head Flying through it all like an arrow I'm feeling like myself again there was a part of you that couldn't let, couldn't let go Needed remembering when I
Hey, I need you to do three things if you're enjoying this video. Number one, like the video. Number two, subscribe to the channel. And number three, support my personal ministry by sending me a monthly check in the amount of one billion dollars. I'm only kidding about the billion dollars, but do like and subscribe. As I'm recording this, we recently passed 900 subscribers. Less than a hundred to go until I get filthy rich from this YouTube channel. Please don't crush my dreams by telling me the truth. Now let's take a closer look at this trail. It was a blind date for me. I had never laid eyes on it before. So at first, I was a little unimpressed as it seemed like a standard, almost boring little city trail that snaked its way through town, past road crossings and homes, past the university, baseball stadium. I remember getting to this neighborhood and thinking, good grief, this is the widest residential street I think I've ever seen in my life. Seriously, why is it so wide? It's like these people live on an interstate highway or something. Just when I was starting to feel a little let down by this trail, I came to this old barn. Now this thing was cool and it signaled a total shift in the terrain and land use surrounding this trail. Turned out the rest of the trail went through and alongside some of the prettiest fields and farmland you'd ever want to see, with mountains visible just off in the distance a little bit, making this trail fairly unique after all. So I guess the moral to this story is, if you go on a blind date and your date doesn't make a great first impression, don't just go to the restroom and then dash off without paying the bill, leaving her stuck with the check. Because you never know, she just might grow on you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, and follow me for more relationship advice. No, don't. <laughs> don't do that. By the way, a word to the wise, the trail that surrounds the farmland is on some rolling hills, and unless you're on an e-bike, you might have to get off and walk the bike in some spots. But not very far. Stick around for our exclusive Joyful Trails star rating coming up in uno momento. But first, there's something I've just got to point out. There are signs. Lots and lots of signs. You'll notice that no dogs are allowed on the trail. In fact, let's just double down on that. No pets or animals are allowed in the park or on the trail. It's closed at dark. And please don't litter. No inline skates skateboards or scooters. And please, for the love of God, put your litter in a trash can. And in case you were wondering, the trail is closed when it's covered by snow and ice. I mean, that just ruins one of life's simple pleasures. Who doesn't like to ride their bicycle over an ice-covered bridge? Oh, you know what? You can bring your dog out to this section of the trail, but only this section, and only if the dog is vaccinated and under control. And if things go south, you might be fined. Somebody in Tusculum, Tennessee is addicted to signs. Maybe they could find a nice sign rehab center in Florida or something. Go there and get sober. I'm, I'm just saying too many rules and too many signs for me. But yeah, maybe that's just me. By the way, no dogs beyond this point, please. Like a lot of other trails, this trail does suffer from the old tree root bug, causing the trail surface to be exceptionally bumpy in spots. But overall, it seems to be really well maintained. So what's the verdict? Why should you make the trip to Tusculum, Tennessee? Well, the in-town portion of the trail is fairly common stuff. But we do like the bridge and the switchbacks that take cyclists over the highway. And we love the experience of riding past all those fields and the farmland on the outskirts of town. Three stars for the Tusculum Linear Park Walking and Biking Trail in Tusculum, Tennessee. Now if we can please get the sign maker to put his tools down and just chill. By the way, on my way back to South Carolina, I pulled off on one of those good old fashioned scenic overlooks to enjoy the view. Thought I'd share it with you on our way out today. See you next time.